Is it the right time to buy or sell Upstart stock? In this video, we will delve deep into Upstart. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, December 28, 2023. And now, we are here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest analysis. It's important not to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of artificial intelligence and get free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since November 28, 2023, our system has identified Upstart as a promising investment, giving it a score of 1.15. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. If you had followed our analysis, you would have witnessed an impressive gain of 68.74% since we first recommended Upstart as a buy 22 days ago. This translates to an average daily return of 3.12% since it was identified as a promising investment. The stock is currently experiencing a strong upward trend in the short term, indicating the potential for further growth. Over the next three months, there is a projected 58.29% change in the stock, with a possible return ranging from 8.23% to 75.85%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a projected 38.21% change in the stock, with a potential return ranging from minus 25.66% to 154.95%. This suggests a price range of $32.83 to $112.59 after a year. Our latest update for Upstart focuses on the recent performance of its stock. On Thursday, the stock experienced a decline of 5.88%. Specifically, the Upstart stock price dropped from $46.92 to $44.16 on Thursday, December 28, 2023. Throughout the trading day, the stock showed fluctuations, ranging from a low of $44.11 to a high of $46.62, with a total fluctuation of 5.69%. It's worth noting that the stock has witnessed an increase in value on 6 out of the last 10 days and has shown a growth of 3.39% over the past 2 weeks. Interestingly, the trading volume also decreased on the same day as the stock, which is generally considered a positive sign, as volume usually follows the stock. The trading volume decreased by 4 million shares on the last day, with a total of 10 million shares being bought and sold, amounting to approximately $427.48 million. Looking at the stock's performance over the past 52 weeks, we can observe that the highest price reached was $72.57, while the lowest price recorded was $11.93. Currently, the stock is trading at a price that is 39.15% or $28.41 lower than its 52-week high. Furthermore, it is trading at a price that is 89% or $357.33 lower than its all-time high, which was achieved on October 15, 2021, with a price of $401.49. Analyst Ratings On Monday, December 4, 2023, Wedbush gave UPST a grade of underperform with a recommended action to hold. On Wednesday, November 8, 2023, Piper Sandler gave UPST a grade of neutral with a recommended action to hold. On Monday, September 25, 2023, Needham gave UPST a grade of hold with a recommended action to initialize. On Wednesday, June 14, 2023, BTIG gave UPST a grade of buy with a recommended action to initialize. On Wednesday, May 10, 2023, Morgan Stanley gave UPST a grade of underweight with a recommended action to hold. Analysts have given Upstart stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. In terms of return on investment, the analysts give the stock a rating of neutral. Here are the signals for Upstart. The Upstart stock currently has a sell signal from the short-term moving average. However, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. 
Since the short-term average is above the long-term average, there is a general buy signal for the stock, indicating a positive forecast. If the stock continues to rise, it may face resistance from the short-term moving average at around $45.19. On the other hand, if the stock falls, it may find support from the long-term average at approximately $33.08. A break above the short-term average will trigger a buy signal, while a break below the long-term average will trigger a sell signal. Additionally, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. However, there have also been some negative signals recently, which could impact its short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, December 19, 2023, resulting in a decline of minus 6.66% so far. It is expected to continue falling until a new bottom pivot is found. Finally, the volume of trading decreased along with the price during the last trading day, reducing the overall risk as volume typically follows price movements. Here are some other signals that you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence indicator shows a buy signal. Pivots indicate a sell signal 7 days ago. Bollinger bands suggest a buy signal 46 days ago. The short-term moving average indicates a buy signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average also gives a buy signal 23 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages suggests a buy signal 20 days ago. Let's take a look at the 12-month chart. The short moving average indicates a buy signal 23 days ago. The long-term moving average also shows a buy signal 19 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages suggests a buy signal 9 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Today we'll be discussing support, risk, and stop loss for upstart. Upstart currently has support from accumulated volume at $42.71. This level presents a potential buying opportunity as we can expect an upward reaction when the support is tested. However, it's important to note that this stock exhibits high volatility, making it a very high-risk investment. In fact, the Bollinger Band indicates a wide prediction interval. Looking at its recent performance, Upstart has experienced significant intraday movement. Yesterday alone, the stock had a $2.51 difference between its high and low, amounting to a 5.69% change. Over the past week, the stock has consistently exhibited an average daily volatility of 5.8%. Before we explore potential good trading levels for upstart, let's quickly go over some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio is essential as it measures a company's current share price in relation to its per share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company has negative earnings or is losing money. It's not uncommon for established companies to experience downturns, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may indicate insufficient profitability and potential risks of bankruptcy. Moving on to other news, the upcoming earnings report for Q4 2023 is expected to be released on February 13, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for this report stand at $0.120. It's important to keep a close watch on these numbers as they can significantly impact stock prices. Today, we'll be discussing potential day trading levels for upstart. If we see an upward trend, the first resistance level for upstart can be found at $45.24. If you don't own any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. And for those who already hold the stock, this level could be worth considering for swing trading. On the downside, upstart encounters its first support level at $42.71. If this support level holds, it could serve as a good entry point, with the anticipation of a rebound. The consensus rating for Upstart, according to multiple analyst sources, is buy. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. On December 26, 2023, Dutta Sanjay sold 1,000 shares of common stock as an insider. On December 22, 2023, Darling Scott sold 2,285 shares of employee stock option, right to buy, as an insider. Also on December 26, 2023, 
Darling Scott sold 2043 shares of employee stock option, right to buy, as an insider. On December 22, 2023, Darling Scott bought 2,285 shares of common stock as an insider. Lastly, on December 22, 2023, Darling Scott sold 1985 shares of common stock as an insider. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power ratio calculates to minus 45.198, indicating a negative trend. Overall, insiders have purchased 163,335 shares and sold 426,910 shares in the last 100 trades. We recommend setting the stop loss for this stock at $41.72, which is a decrease of 5.52%. It's important to note that this stock experiences high daily movements, making it a high-risk investment. Additionally, we have identified a sell signal from a pivot top that occurred six days ago. Is Upstart stock a good buy? Based on our analysis, it appears that upstart stock presents a buying opportunity. Several short-term signals, combined with a positive overall trend, suggest that the stock may perform well in the near future. When analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems have determined that the current price is undervalued. Looking ahead to Friday, December 29th, we anticipate upstart to open up $0.80 cents and start trading at $44.96. Before we begin, it's important to note that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. Therefore, we strongly recommend consulting a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions in the stock market. Remember, stockinvest.us is not a basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. So we'd love to hear your thoughts on our current view of the stock. Share your agreement or disagreement by commenting below. Also, let us know your target for the stock. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated. Wishing you successful trading and a beautiful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.